And your name is? Aviva Mann. And yours is? Stefan Pajaro Van If you say that about my mother one more time, I'm just going <laughs> to clock you. Because something in there sounded derogatory, and I don't like that. I don't stand for that. And you're in East Nashville this weekend. In a sea of red. What do you think will make you unique and in a world of all these people doing the same thing? We can't know what the future holds. I ask one question, I find one thousand. I think that if we are true to ourselves and true to our identity, kids that go to college and are kind of just grew up in like a regular suburb is the main difference from everyone else. So I think just like being true to ourselves. So you don't need to put like an earring in your in your nose or a tattoo on your face or anything. You're not going to go and we're you're not going to have sex changes like swap. As of now, I'm not planning on it. Would you move for your music? I don't mean like move for your music, but I mean like move, relocate. Being here this weekend, I would say yes. I think this weekend gave me a really good education in what life might, a taste of life as a, just a musician, that wouldn't be our whole life. You no know, athletics or going shopping at the supermarket, all of those things kind of contribute to the music you produce. Can't keep up with my own body. But I can definitely see being here, doing something involved with the music. This community is awesome. The culture here is awesome. Wouldn't it be annoying to just, that's all you did? It's not as much that like I would hate doing music all the time because it would annoy me and music would get old. It's more just like, I feel like I have a lot of interests so that I would get annoyed and feel like I'm missing out on those elements of my life. So it's like that, it's like FOMO if you're missing out yeah. of these other elements that I've also developed growing up, like other dreams and other just like aspects of my identity that I also want to develop at the same time. Mm. So it's not necessarily just not wanting, it's not really about the music, it's just not wanting to do one thing yeah. the whole time, but definitely music will be a huge part of it. I think it's important to have all those different aspects. I think everyone has things that just like confuse them the most. For me, I guess growing up, it, like in high school, it was just different relationships and like romantic relationships. So when I started writing music, it was kind of to work those ideas out and those feelings out. And then I guess seeing that I could have this kind of like tangible product that came from that was like so much bigger than than all of it, I guess. Like the song was bigger than the problem. Yeah, like the full CD, I was like, wait, that sucked, but I have this CD, so <laughs> that's awesome. Yo, the windows down, red lips, green lights, green eyes, black nights, we're skin to skin and heart to heart. You ask me if I know this part and you start to play.